Hello! I basically want to show you how I created this final illustration um, using Photoshop to sketch the, uh, the exploration of this idea of the Cupid shooting these dollar sign shaped um, balloons and um, so this is how I did it. Basically sketch, the sketch was placed in Illustrator and then the line work was done with a brush tool and I cleaned up all of those rough lines with a nice clean uh, vector brush stroke and I used uh, that magenta uh, because it it makes the lines easy to see against that sketch uh, then I outlined all those strokes and then I used the pencil tool to change the line endpoints so instead of having that round look um, I made some sharp and changed uh, basically the look of those finishes on those lines then I united the line groups using the Pathfinder tool um, and then the skin color I made it as one group and the hair is another group um, I do that so each one of those groups will be easier uh, basically will show it better in front of this Photoshop color um, it matches that area of color and um, and also it's easier to copy and paste into Photoshop. So then uh, I was going to use the gradient background because I was initially going to use it uh, strictly Illustrator to produce all the color areas, but then I decided to use the image trace tool because uh, I really like the way the Photoshop file was looking as a watercolor look. So to retain that, I'm using image trace. To produce the painted effect that Photoshop provides. So the vector graphics are scalable as, as well uh, and perfect for multiple uses and that's why I'm using, I'm wanting to do everything in, t in Illustrator to have that flexibility. So you could produce a uh, large sign with it or even something like a small flyer just by scaling up and down the graphics and you don't need to worry about resolution. So raster graphics uh, using Photoshop need to be created at the size intended um, and file sizes can be tediously large so vector graphics are more ideal for this illustration. Since I created the sketch in Photoshop using layers I can turn off that specific layer and just image trace that piece of the sketch. Illustrator will update the placed file preview and then I copy and placed the image after I image trace and expand each area of the illustration. So I can paste in front the same placed image and then go back to Photoshop, hide the layer that was traced and show the layer that needs to be image traced next. And so just going back and forth between those processes. I'm using this method for creating vector art that looks like Photoshop soft color transitions that look like watercolor. I'm grouping the line work together for Cupid, his bow, the arrow, the dollar sign, balloons. I copy and pasted these lines from Illustrator to Photoshop. I then made separate layers for Cupid, the bow, arrow, dollar sign, balloons, etc. Uh, then I, I'm using the hard round pressure opacity in Photoshop with like an 87% opacity setting um, and I paint in those areas of color. 87% is really arbitrary and that changes depending on how I want the colors to blend. So you can set it to whatever you want basically. Um, color picking and blending colors, I uh, highlights for the hair and the light source I chose to come from the left so that light is always on that left side. Uh, the nose and the cheeks have a rosy red color or pinkish color because that's where the blush usually shows. Painted all that in. Color, uh, a continued color picking and blending color on the tongue and the skin and so forth. And then I'm cleaning up the, the overpainting beyond the line so that when we get back to Illustrator and then the fills essentially will fit right behind the strokes drawn previously. 
I still need to delete the outer color and clean up the edges, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I repeat the showing and hiding of the layers in Photoshop, and then I update the placed image in Illustrator and image trace again for each piece, for the clouds, for the, the cupid, and for the bow, etc. Um, then I'm refining the dollar sign balloons, and I'm using a 30% opacity. So again, it's arbitrary. I'm just wanting to blend the color very slightly and not have too many hard edges. So I place the file that should still be on your clipboard, on my clipboard. Um, and if, if not, like if I copied something in Photoshop and it erased that, uh, that placed image, I can place it again in, uh, in Illustrator from Photoshop. Um, and then I'm cleaning up the outer edges of those dollar sign balloons and I use the sky color in that image trace so the edges would trace blue and not white to achieve a softer effect when placed on the sky you know I previously traced earlier and then the image trace preset I'm using is high fidelity photo the last effect I wanted to add to Cupid was a warm light from the left and give him an angelic highlight. Um, I offset a copy of the line work in Photoshop using overlay and uh, I image trace that and clean up the remaining lines. So there's a lot of back and forth between Photoshop and Illustrator. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you got something from this video and uh, make sure to leave me a comment down below let me know if it helped you or not or if you have any questions uh, and also if you like this video please give me a like and uh, share it with your friends and if you really like the video go ahead and subscribe to my channel I appreciate it thanks for watching